the sun's coming through my curtain and it makes a cool shadow. <laughs> so I am going to do a simple Easter idea for, from Origami. It's placeholders. It's just a simple rabbit and a chick. So it's just simple place settings. I was thinking that it could be for like Easter dinner if you have a kid's table. Really, really easy to make. So I thought I would put them both in the same video because they're simple and they kind of have the same ideas around them. They have a lot of the same steps. I'm going to do the bunny first because it's the easier project. So you just start with a regular sheet of square paper and fold it along the diagonal bisector. Then you fold one of the sides to the center. So you're making a diagonal fold that way. So it'll look like that. Then you want to do the same thing, just mirror it. You should have something that looks like this. The folds that you just did form this two layer section and then there's the one layer section. So you want to fold the one layer section completely over. And you want to take care that the tip of this is right in the center of those two previous folds. Okay, so now you just have a regular triangle. Fold this that you just folded over back down. And again, there should be a line going through the middle here and a line going through the middle here, so just make sure that those line up and it's not askew like that, something like that. So make sure those line up and make sure that there's just a little bit peeking out from the bottom so it's not a straight line on the bottom. And from the other side you can see a little bit peeking out. So fold it just like that. Then simply take this whole thing and fold it in half. So now you can see that fold that you just made is, makes the tail and then the next part is going to make the head. So if you fold it up like this you can mark and see where you want the head to lie because you can make it go straight up and down. I think it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing if you make it tilt back a little bit like that. So you make that fold but that's just a crease. So you make that fold, you make sure you, the head is where you like it to, to be. Then you unfold it, then you, along that fold you make an outside reverse fold. And the way you do that is you unfold it a little bit and then fold this back upon, back on itself where you just made that fold. and then flip it all the way this way. Just like that. And you have your bunny. And you can make, you can cut the ears of the bunny like that if you want. But I kind of like it, the look of it just like that, nice and plain. That's a simple bunny. Now for the chick. You want to start the same way as you started the rabbit, fold the diagonal, and unfold. Then I also like to fold the other diagonal just as a guideline for myself for a later step. So you can go ahead and do that. Then the same thing, you fold the sides into the center. Again, you should have this shape. And this is when it gets a little bit different. So remember that single side we talked about with the rabbit, the single layer? Instead of folding it all the way up like this, you just fold it halfway. So you fold it right to the point in between those last folds that you made. And then you should have three triangles 
and oh, the sun makes it look good. So you can see that one of the triangles is a double layer and two of the triangles are single layers, but they're all the same size and shape. Then you want to flip it and then along that line that you made in the beginning that I said was just a guideline, you want to fold it down all the way. All right. Then the next step that you do is you fold it up, fold that back up. And this determines how big the head is. So if you can kind of imagine that without that part poking out, that's how big the head is going to be. But if you want to make it bigger, or if you want to make it longer and skinnier, you have to fold it back farther. And if you want to make it shorter and fatter, you have to fold it up. And I like it more like this. And all the, this time when you're making these folds back and forth, just make sure that the center line lines up the whole time. And then, you know, nothing will be askew. Then you want to flip it over again. Take this part and just fold it over on that side and then fold it back up and then how how far you fold this will determine how big the beak is so if you can imagine again if you fold it up closer then you're going to have a nice long beak which I think looks weird for a chick so if you want to make it shorter more like a chick's beak you want to make the fold farther down this way towards the bottom of the paper and just have less of it peeking up towards the top. You see where that's peeking up? And again, it's peeking up on this side. Then you have this, which looks kind of like a squash chick. So what you want to do is open it up. So you can just lift the head up. Like that. And then pinch it down like that and if you push it a little bit more the head will be in a different position but I like mine just about here and then it stands up like that just like a chick then you just write on the bodies of them they're nice and flat so you can just write on the bodies the names so I made one for each of my nephews and my niece. Here's eight. And then I made two more for some kids that I've been babysitting. Some friends of mine. So you can just line them up like this as decoration on the table or you can put one in each of their place settings so they know where to sit. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this, this uh, simple Easter origami video. I have another one coming up. Well, I'll probably post that one tomorrow. Alright, thanks for watching.